Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trials of Mana. Last time we defeated the ghost ship and got the elemental shade. And when the ship disappeared, we floated on the seas all the way to this Buka Island. And it feels like it's uh, a little bit on the verge of corrupting, so I think it's uh, probably gonna be a good thing to get out of here as fast as possible. How? We do not know yet, but we did see a very big gigantic turtle creature with a flag on its uh, back so I don't know what it is but uh, maybe we can put one and two together so let's check out this entire island and see what we can find and when we look on the map we have two places we can go doesn't matter which one we pick we're gonna watch everywhere anyway so let's go this way check what's there Flying Oh tomato mans remember those The later levels in the old one were very annoying <laughs> Because they were very hard to hit sometimes still stuck on the island Are there ships nearby? Well, one way to find out uh, Kevin just to check out the surrounding area and see what we can find and also when we're here, we do need to see if we can find uh, this boy. I think it's been two episodes now that, since we found the last one. And before then, we got them in spades. So, uh, we, need, we need to check. We really need to, because we are so close to the next one. And uh, you know it. We like those perks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this one is just done. Yeah, and we have a shit ton of uh, item seeds as well. There's another one, so as soon as we get to an inn or someplace, we really need to use all of them. And I think it would be a really nice load, because we got uh, normal seeds, we got silver seeds, we got gold seeds. And of course, the gold seeds have the highest chance of giving you sweet, sweet loot. Angela yeah, really loves her new elemental. And that's one thing I do wonder about this game, which I don't know yet for certain. Does the game uh, actually the check to see which elemental works best against the enemy? Or do they just use the one they think is strongest? Hmm. Cheeky. Couple of wishes, nice. Back to the forest. Very rich sounds as the Mato Man's make. Out of the fire. But still stuck on the island. Yeah, but we just started looking around, so be good. Trust me, we'll find a way off this. Because it would be a very weird ending to the game if we did not. Uh, that's too candy. Oh, she just got healed. Alright, didn't even notice. <laughs> Getting so close, well, closer to the next class change, which I'm very curious about because uh, once we have the next class change option, we can check all the different specs you can take with your characters. So that's gonna be real, real nice because uh, since you can reset your class as well, after you watch the, all four of the next classes, you can see which one you actually want and which one would be best for your playstyle. For me, it's very clear. I want a nice healer, I want a nice magic user and a great melee user. 
so it, it makes the uh, choice a lot easier. And after we're done with uh, this game, I'm probably also gonna stream it on Twitch. And then we're gonna go with a totally different party. And we're gonna see if we need a totally different build as well. Okay, so there are a lot of shortcuts back to previous areas. That's good. Save the enemies of this island. They are pretty strong. I really do need to uh, keep watch on my HP on this one. Nice, not a couple wishes. So it's almost like the game is uh, saying to us, "Here, here, here! Here are life recovery items. Make sure, because you, you really can use one." <laughs> We're better than that. Right, the shade, time of day. Enemies back in the eye. Don't worry, you have a good rest, Charlotte. We'll take care of everything. Well, any moment. The last time I played were a couple of days ago. We still hasn't blown up. I think we'll be fine. It's just being a little bit cranky. Okay, let's go to the other side of this path as well. Just to make sure we haven't missed any chest, cactus boy or shinies. Mm hmm. Good. But that way we know we don't need to go back when we get to a new area. This way to Tomato Town. Visitors are welcome. Alright, so we go the other way. <laughs> Go into Okay, so if we do not defeat these enemies fast enough, they will evolve into a higher form. Doesn't give us a double experience, or is it just another enemy to be fight? Good. All right, let's go to this area first, because this is a isolated one. Oh, I'm hoping for a chest. <laughs> Look at them, dancing so happily without knowing that we are here, about to crush their little souls. 
Um, let's see where the path leads. Uh, you know what? I think we should just go to Tomato Town. Why not? Oh, decisions, decisions. Because one side of me wants to explore, because in this direction we do not need to go uh, for uh, the purpose of story. But I'm pretty sure eventually when we've gone to uh, Tomato Town, the game will lead us here. Alright, let's do a couple more fights. I remember these enemies from my uh, place original and I think I really wanted to beat them before they evolve because the next form was gonna be tougher, harder to beat. So far I think we're doing okay. I don't have time for and, uh, and thing about this game that I have noticed. It is a lot easier than the original one. Story gameplay is extremely well done, really good, I'm very enjoying it. But the difficulty could be a little bit higher. Could also be that I just grinded a little bit too much on certain levels between episodes. Is there a shiny? There is a shiny. Okay, we're on our way back to the main town, we'll pick that up. Didn't expect that. Was it the B Lancer or the Echo? No, it's probably the Echo Trice, isn't it? Like an uh, early form of Cockatrice? Okay, I, th I think we figured out the reason uh, for destroying these enemies. Because we do know that. Uh, with stone, if uh, multiple of all characters have the same uh, affliction, <laughs> the game is just over. Out of the fire. Still stuck on the island. One honey elixir, beautiful. Not gonna stand to the side in order to uh, evolve. No, 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 no. I can try. Sorry, because you petrified me last time. I think you wasted your potential, and now you're target number one. Oh, awesome silver item seed. The last hit only hit one? Jesus, this is... I was expecting so much more. Oh, you can really see now if you notice if you're noticing it when it's gonna evolve. It's, it's gonna stand to the side, like... Oh, don't mind me, don't mind me. I'll be right back. Yeah. Seems to be nothing here. Hmm. And we still haven't found uh, any sign of a cactus boy. Maybe they all e destroyed him on this isle because it's very peculiar. Okay, so this is um, pretty clear. This is supposed to be a cave, but we are not supposed to be here yet. Alright, let's go back to town. 
so we might as well uh, let's light heal. Okay, now where was that jump off point? Medical hurt, beautiful. I <gasps> need to go through them. And then we're on our new path back to the main Let's uh, beat up these uh, very happy dancing creatures. Oh, that was a beautiful one. I think we hit all four of them. And then, what, looking around. Nice totems, though. Gonna be a full fledged town with an inn, shops, everything. Tomato town. Oh, <laughs> it's a town of monsters. M maybe we should be quiet about how many of their friends we killed. Just to be sure. Monsters! Lots of monsters! Why so many? Source of food nearby, maybe? Wait! I don't think these monsters mean any harm. They aren't attacking us. Maybe you should try talking to one. This is the middle time. The eruption is imminent. If you wish to escape, you should do so. We will remain here and let nature take its course. Yeah, it's got some deep fried tomatoes. Are very sweet. Wow, these monsters sure don't act like they. They what? Do a volcano nearby? Yeah, this is something that I have with her. Sometimes I don't understand what she's trying to say. It's <laughs> also we re infer re confirm the fact that she is a very much childish uh, character. Though we are a peaceful tribe, our presence outside the village can be quite dangerous. Our town centerpiece has similar properties to the mana statues, if you're familiar with. The world is a strange place. We are also open for business. Please feel free to visit our shops. Welcome, yes. What would you like? Dang. They got better equipment for cheaper prices than the last store we got equipment from. You're doing good, uh, Tomato. But what does it say about us that uh, this time we're buying uh, clothes from a Tomato? Last time we bought uh, stuff from zombies. Are, are we saying that normal people can't do it anymore? Not make us the right equipment? Do we need to go to specialistic monsters in order to do so? It does seem that way, doesn't it? Welcome! What would you like? 84 candy. That's a lot. Almost to the point that you want to sell some of these. Mm, I think we're a couple of more star plus. Thank you. Just in case uh, we get more stoned than we want to. Check the backs of the store. I knew it. There had to be something back there. Eight hundred. One of two. Okay. Well, 
Welcome. What would you like? Ruby cane. Bach. Knock. Nice. Well, if it increases our potential, I will always it. buy it. I do love the fact that we are not limited uh, with our carrying capacity when it comes to item and equipment. That's like the old bones in me, like uh, the old RPG uh, genes. Because you never want to sell, you want to collect everything you can find. It's a good thing to do. You know, we need to talk to them, but ah, there it is. Final chest. <gasps> and on the elixir, beautiful. I'm uh, gonna have one quick look behind all the houses. So I'm pretty sure if there is like a cactus boy here somewhere, he's probably hiding. The ruler of the seas resides in a cave to the west of this town. To even have a chance of leaving the island, you must ask for its aid. However, the entrance to the cave garden at the top of the mountain has been caved by a huge rock during an earthquake. Destruction may come before you can dig around it. Alright, find the ruler of the sea. Okay, we know where we need to be. So, uh, let us just go there. So, I see you guys there. Okay, that was a nice small little trip back to the top of the mountain. So, let's see what we can do about getting rid of these stones. Mm -hmm. Can't get rid of these, right? Of course, our elementals. <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine, huh? <laughs> there was a cave entrance here, but the volcano done went and plugged it right up. Give me a sec, and I'll fix it for you. Well, be seeing you. Nice. And that's why you need elementals, because uh, they are gigantic plot devices. Because <laughs> we'd be stuck here with an incoming uh, volcanic blast. So let's just be happy about this. On the other hand, we were here before. Numb could have helped us then as well. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? So there's an entire cave system here we need to explore in order to get to this. Is the cavern we're looking for, right? Oh, it is, it is, it is. Could blow at any time. Hurry, can't stop here. Need revenge for Carl. Yeah, well, like I was saying, we need to explore this entire thing. Just now, might as well save to get to the big ass turtle guy and see what he actually is and if he can help us get off. Beautiful. Coins. Yeah, and we did see other enemies, so tomatoes. I don't think it's your place to be here anymore. It does look a lot more fierce uh, in a cavern like this, the uh, quakes. Back out on the island, you didn't notice the shaking as much as here, but it becomes a lot more spooky this way. Another couple of wishes. Yeah, I, don't, I can't remember, but I don't think we've ever bought a couple of wishes uh, in this game yet. Maybe one at the beginning, but that's about it. Because we're getting so many of them. This one is so annoying. Oh, 
pretty sure that uh, whenever we replay this game on a harder difficulty, that we're gonna be happy with, uh, our, with all these extra cover wishes. And another cup of wishes. I think I think it's the item of today. <laughs> Don't worry, oh, I love photos. Look at their eyes. So cute. <laughs> Because we want to destroy you because you're looking so cute. Alright, so there it is. This one is a wall. No more enemies. Not you keep. Oh, alright. So far, so straightforward. Ooh, that for the photo. Which one do we destroy first? The Evolvers? Or the one that sticks in my mind as a very dangerous enemy, but I can't remember why. Ruler. Ruler of the seed? Gold item seed, nice. We're getting more gold item seed just as more silver seeds, so does it mean we're getting close to evolve those seeds as well? Because in the old one you also had like equipment and accessory seeds. Next to the class seat, so I, I want to get those as well. Of course you won. And the save point. I feel we should not ignore the save point, so <laughs> let's use it. Yes, let's give me self an extra heal. This to help. Why not? We're all almost at 300% of our strikes. So we're more than ready for whatever comes. Because there might be another boss fight. And we had a lot of boss fights the last couple of episodes. But I think all our names were all boss times. Will this be another one? Okay, let's, let's go check and see what it is. Or shall I wait? No, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Because I'm pretty sure we can uh, see if it's uh, a boss time or not. Okay, that was a very strange sound. It almost sounded like chickens. Not of wishes, beautiful. Are we gonna be at a disadvantage because we are now fighting in the enemy's quarters? Bam. All right. It does feel like Cyril is the uh, one that does the most automatic strikes. Let's just jump off this. Yes! Get in case of a chest. Moon ring. Beautiful. It's probably gonna be for one of the ladies. Is uh, defense, medic defense. Can both of them work? So let's see. What I'm gonna find. Oh yeah, let's definitely give it to her. 
Strange, as a competent magic user, you'd expect her to be a little bit better in the defense department. So many. Can you, can you uh, imagine even getting more than this? But do say that with every item level you get, every seed box level, your chances of getting more seeds increases. I have to check after this fight, but I think we already got like a buttload at the moment. Yeah, you're a natural. Uh, <laughs> see, like. 2, 11, and 4. That's a lot of seeds. It should be more than enough for us to get to the next level. <laughs> ah, so that's what it was. It's a summoner monster. is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Because to be honest, after that save point, I really thought we were gonna be at the end of it. Ooh! Okay, that's bad. Ooh, thank you. So that's what happened when uh, they evolved and get their way uh, with us. <laughs> they eat us. Mini box. Well, we know what the, the it's gonna bring us. Golden item seeds. The one thing you do notice: once you uh, pick away at the shield of one of those enemies that have them, they're all extremely uh, easy to defeat. So remember, the one thing I forgot when I just started this playing this game, always use your charge attacks or strike attacks against those. Because there is no use in trying to uh, get rid of it yourself. Because we'll just take time and nothing else. I wonder if you keep pounding on an enemy that can transform. Will they still be able to transform, or will that be like a stun we keep on giving them that they cannot evolve to the next level? Am I defenseless? Did they hit me with the acid or something? Because that would make that acid a really good attack. And another silver item seed. If we keep this up, we can fill the entire inn with our seed. Okay, that sounded a little bit more looty than I uh, wanted it to, but yes. We're gonna spread it all over that box. Who? I am Malokio. In accordance with the prophecy heralding his Dark Majesty's triumph, I am here to end your lives. It is foretold that you may disrupt his Majesty's plans for this realm. Who is Dark Majesty? What have we done to you? There is no need for you to know the minutia of our plan. After all, you will not be here intact. <laughs> this active volcano will soon bury you all alive! <laughs> 
Great evil laugh. Great evil laugh. Big boy. Ah, uh, this one. Wait. Helping us. <laughs> I love him already. Those goggles are priceless. So, what happened? Are we outside? Are we dead? Is this the end of the game? <laughs> and who was that vampire? <laughs> That's our chill turtle! Sena and ask the Hero King uh, about the other mana stones. Well, not only ask about other mana stones. Oh, wait, here. The Ruler of the Sea Acknowledgement has granted you a new ability. Our uh, base HP increased by 60. Nice. I was actually hoping more for a gift like uh, a sea urchin caller or something like that, so we could always call on his aid. Because that would mean we could travel anywhere by sea, that would be amazing. Oh well. What isn't right now might come into the future. At least we can hope so. <laughs> but, unless there's another scene. was cute and helpful. Do you even understand what cute means, Kevin? I think you need glasses. You think? You do if you don't think I'm a hundred times cuter than that creature. I, I think it's a tie between uh, the cuteness factor, yes. But since we're already here, don't need to, to walk all that way. But we're gonna leave the episode right here. We escaped from Duke Island and now we're on track for our next Monastone and New Elemental. We're making great progress on that front. Uh, I think, how much do we need to know? Two or three? I think we're doing good. Uh, I think we need Undyne, Salamander, uh, Dryad? I think that's it, right? Or, do we have Lumina? Yeah, Lumina's the first one, I think, yeah. So yeah, I think we have three left. Alright, so that's gonna be on the next episode. I do hope to see you there. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.